Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crutcheter. Today is November 25th. Today is the last day I am 53 years old. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it, because tomorrow I'm officially 54. Um, first of all, before we begin, I wanna wish uh, all of my American friends a wonderful Thanksgiving, because today is Thanksgiving in the United States. I hope you're getting stuffed <laughs> uh, with food, with food. <laughs> Um, I want to do a real quick video because I'm really excited about what I made and then I have two things, two finished items and a little birthday, uh, little birthday gift from someone. Now, I think um, a while ago or a couple of weeks ago I showed you guys my sock cardigan made with all sock yarns and it was the Any Yarn Will Do Cardigan by Dora Does. And I fell in love with the pattern. It's awesome. It is a paid for pattern, but it is well worth it because she does so many different sizes and different yarns. Like it's just, it's a very extensive pattern, but it is very big, so I don't print it. Um, anyway, I wanted to make another one and I was rooting around in my yarn and I came across three of these monster balls and it's the Tent Sail Fashion Yarn. I bought this at the uh, tent sale in Listowel, Ontario. Um, I think it's called, uh, I can't remember what the name of the store is, Warehouse Outlet or something like that. But years and years ago, like in 2016, I came home with garbage bags full of yarn at really great deals. Anyway, I had three of these and these are super chunky and they're 100% acrylic and they're like that, uh, if you hear noise, that's hubby making noise. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make it and I had three left, not enough for a big, for a blanket and I've just wondered what am I going to do with this, what am I going to do, so I made a sweater. So I used that and I also used a little bit of the Lion Brand uh, Go For Faux in the, I want to say, Pomeranian color. <laughs> so I'm going to show it to you, I'm going to put it on. I love this, it's for me to be cozy, oh, I love it. Look at this, I'm gonna stand back. Is it not fabulous? I know it makes me look bulky, but that's okay, because this is just for me to be cozy on the couch. I love it, and what I love about this kind of yarn, this, uh, I don't know, it's a real, like, thick and thin, and anyway, what I love about it is when you wash it and things like pop out or whatever, it'll fit right in, because it's already like that. I love it, I love it so, so, so much. So I really wanted to show you guys all what I, I love this. Now what I did do is I made the pattern the way she has it, and which is a, a V type of pattern. And what I did was I decided to do uh, a few rows of single crochet up to about here, and then I did double, double crochet. So I think I did like four rows of that, which brought this up a little bit. As you can see, it brought it up a little bit. And then I did two rows of the faux fur. It's so soft, it's wonderful, I love it. And then I just cuffed one row of the faux fur here. Just love it so much. So I highly recommend this pattern. And once you make the base, you can just, like I didn't even do any decreases. I, I started with a smaller uh, opening and then just kept it straight up, no decreases. I just love this thing so much. How many times can I say that? <laughs> anyway, that's my finished object, one finished object. So I'm so happy with this thing so much. It's so cozy, it's like wearing a blanket. I love it, so that is finished. Okay, um, the other thing that I finished, I had this great idea, hold on, I'm trying to get it. Oh my goodness. I had this idea, we have nine people for Christmas this year. Um, and because we're actually doing Christmas a week early because our kids' schedules with work and other families, um, we could only do it for, we're gonna be doing it on the 18th. So we're just gonna pretend Christmas is on the 18th. Uh, anyway, that day we're gonna have nine people here and I wanted to do a stocking for each one. And then I went on the internet and just right, like 
weird timing, Stephanie Z put out a boho stocking pattern. I'll leave the link below. And it's using the bean stitch. So I thought, oh perfect, I'll make nine of them real fast. Can't be that hard, and it's not. So I made one and I wanted to do everybody's favorite color. So I started with my son, my oldest son, and I made this. It did not look like this before I filled it. It's just stretching like no tomorrow. I'm like, I need to go buy more stocking stuffers. So I don't know. I, I think that this, I followed her tutorial and it was not this long. It was like this. And then with stuffing it all, it just stretched out out of proportion. So I think it's a bad idea. If I do make stockings, maybe I'll do them for next year. I'm gonna have to find another stitch, something a little more not so stretchy this way. And I'm gonna make them wider. Because um, obviously the things that I'm purchasing to put in here is not really kind of, it's too, too narrow here. So that was a dud, but I like the idea of making a stocking for every everybody's favorite colors. I love that. So anyway, it is a really easy, if you're gonna use this for just decoration or my, some small things, like not so heavy, it's a great, you know, it's bean stitch. It's a great tutorial. She does an amazing job and it looked really good before I stuffed it. But yeah, this kind of looks, my husband can't stop laughing at this. So anyway, it's back to the old woven stocking. But I like the idea. So that's what I got done. Now, the birthday gift. The birthday gift. So, um, I think I've mentioned Jen M. Bauman before many times. And so we're doing a Christmas, 12 days of Christmas swap. I do two of them. One with Jen and one with Crystal from Ricola's Crochet Corner. Anyway, she, she sent me my box and we don't do it till later in December, but in there was my birthday gift. So she sent me this card. That is me to a T, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> anyway, and inside, was this quilted bag. Now, I think I've mentioned Jen before, she does everything. And look at this bag. Look at it. And the quilting is different and each panel is, is a different type of quilting. And in the back is here. And so, the yarn inside, I'm gonna talk about the bag too. And inside is, sorry about that, camera or the memory card ran out of room. Anyway, what I like, it was so weird that she made me this. I love it so much. This fabric, I was going through my stash and looking for scraps or small pieces because I, I really like the scrappy look. And I found this pattern or this, this fabric and I had so, so much of it and I didn't have the heart to cut it up into scraps. So I texted her, I said, do you want it? She was like, okay. So I sent it to her and she made me a bag out of that fabric. Like, look at it. Is it not fabulous? And then she added some of her own. I love it so much. Jen, you did an amazing job. And then she did, I'm not sure if this is crochet, but it looks crocheted, a little pull. I love it. Jen, you're gonna have to tell me how you did that. Anyway, but inside was my, she said this is not part of the gift. She said this was just the packaging, <laughs> which great packaging. She bought me 10 skeins of this, and it's Plassard Seraphine, and it's 50% wool, 39 acrylic, and 11 viscose. And I don't know where it's made. Color 60, where is it made? I want to say Plassard is a French company. Hmm. Where is it made? Created in France. Hmm. Created in France. <laughs> but I love it. Look at the color and it's tweed. And it's so funny because I was just, just um, for the last month or so, I've been looking for tweed fabric but I didn't or tweed yarn but I didn't want acrylic I have acrylic tweed I wanted a sweater out of wool or a combination of wool and something but I wanted it in tweed so I've been looking for something but everything that I saw was just way too expensive anyway look at this I love it I love it and I, I texted her and I said you shouldn't have spent so much and she goes, don't worry about it. I bought it on sale a while ago. I'm like, perfect. Sale yarn is the best yarn. 
Anyway, thank you so much, Jen. That is amazing. So anyway, this is just a really quick, I don't think I have anything else to show you, a really quick um, little update and to wish all of my American friends a wonderful Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week, upcoming weekend and we will talk soon.